bro trump from the elections how is it going to impact canada how is it going to impact real estate and how is it going to impact me okay come come on America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, richer, safer and stronger than it has ever been before. So I'm not a big fan of politics. I don't really go that much or I don't talk about it. But in recent times I've been getting questions from a lot of people especially from my clients asking that how it's going to make an impact. Is there will be an impact and what kind of changes that Trump can bring? that will be impacting on canada so i just decided to sit down and do some research look through all the videos when he was doing the campaigns what kind of statements he was giving then i boil it down to there are like four to five things that really can make an impact on canada so let's look into those things and also at the end i'll give my final thoughts but at the same time i would love to hear from you what do you think will there be any impact on canada or especially real estate let me know in the comments below i would love to hear thoughts from you especially those who aggressively follow the politics i would love to hear from you so before i get into the impact first of all this is aditya soma i'm a real estate investor and real estate agent and broker owner of same max win city reality here in windsor ontario canada personally on this channel i talk about how to use real estate as a vehicle to achieve financial freedom because elections can have an impact on real estate so that is a topic that is related to all my followers including myself starting with the first uh, biggest one i thought migration trump said in his campaign he's going to deport 11 million immigrants who are staying in america illegally on day 1 i will launch the largest deportation program in the history of our country But the day I take the oath of office, the migrant invasion of our country ends. So now we all know what happened when he was first elected. Canada immigration site actually was bombarded and the site actually stopped responding because of the amount of people hitting the site on the day that Trump got elected. So now imagine how it can impact at least my guess is there will be more people who are in america plan to come to canada so now canada has to be prepared for that how to take this as an advantage uh, if canada can take it as an advantage we can acquire lot of skilled employees skilled labor from america which means we can expect more people coming to canada from america it could be legally or illegally so that means more demand more you know um more demand for the real estate but at the same time you know right now canada already trying to cap the international students so which kind of impacted on the rental market we have seen across canada there is a decrease in 1.5% in the rents so with this migration more new people coming to canada from america could impact little positively but also on the prices again we all know demand and supply so obviously it's going to take a quite a long time for canada government to implement to bring more supply with more people coming in can impact positively another statement that he gave is he's going to apply 10% tariff the tariff tariff the word tariff to me is the most beautiful word in the entire dictionary we're going to tariff the hell out of them i am a tariff man so we all know canada and us has lot of goods import and export so whatever the goods that canada is sending to america they going to apply extra 10% which means americans are going to get the goods from canada for cheaper that means you know canadian businesses has to now integrate that extra 10% has their cost for doing the business and which can impact on canadians because you know now whichever we are importing from america will be also expensive so that means our cost of living is going to go up so we already suffering from high cost of living comparative to americans So now with this extra cost of living what's going to happen inflation which means now your milk 
your food, bread, most of the goods you're gonna buy for your day-to-day -day living will be going up again. Now coming to the third one, probably you must have heard uh, a slogan saying that drill baby drill. I will end the devastating inflation crisis immediately, bring down interest rates and lower the cost of energy. We will drill baby drill. So Trump said that he's going to focus on drilling oil and gases within North America to make North America has the energy capital of the world and to bring the oil and gas um, cost in America to half. That can make actually a good impact. And he said he's going to make that happen within the first year of his presidency. Now, this can actually be a good impact but at the same time can be a bad impact because the good is now Canada has a lot of oil and gas industries uh, like Calgary, Alberta. They are major with oil and gas manufacturing. So that means Canada can get more business in terms of oil and gas manufacturing. So provinces like Alberta can benefit out of it. But again, we have to wait and see how the tariff 10% can impact on this one as well. So we got to wait and see how this, all these things going to mold. But at least my understanding is with this focus on making North America as a, um, you know, capital of energy capital of the world. If this happens, then, you know, Canada can expect, you know, the employers who are focusing on oil and gases might increase their employment, you know, might hire more people to produce more oil and gas. In short, it can boost the Canadian economy. But also, let's not forget, now Canada is also nearing to the elections. We are just a year from the elections. So as of now, Trump and Trudeau doesn't have a great relation. But I have seen a Twitter statement by Elon Musk, who is a big brand ambassador of Trump, who is, you know, supporting the Trump a lot. He stated that, you know, Trudeau is not going to be the next prime minister of Canada. So we have to wait and see how all these things are going to be unfolded. And we all know that Trump is a big entrepreneur and he is definitely going to focus on helping small businesses and medium sized businesses by helping them with a lower taxes and who knows what else he's going to bring on. But that can also trigger the rate cuts in a short term period. So if the interest rates that if the US reduce the interest rates, then definitely most of the times Canada follows by and we are already on a verge of rates going down. And if this can trigger even more rate cuts, definitely we can see more buyers coming into the market. So more immigration, more buyers, less interest rate, probably maybe in a short term prices can go up in next one year but overall here's my thoughts as a investor especially if you're someone who is looking to continue your investment journey or you're a first time home buyer who is looking to get into buy your first home but not sure because there's so much uncertainty in the market not sure what to do then here's my scent of advice one my favorite strategy that never gets old buy a solid cash flowing property and hold it for long term so no matter what happens in a short term things like this in a long term it will not impact you you will definitely grow your portfolio money will work for you and as a first time home buyer i would say because the times are uncertain don't go crazy in spending don't go crazy in buying you know luxury apartment especially luxury places if you cannot afford if you're not sure if your job is going to be there for sure if you're not having enough savings so just be conscious in spending and also let's not forget that trump is going to start his presidency from january 2025 so all these changes that he talked in his campaigns will be coming into play or maybe he will start working on them but again, we all know politicians, they say one thing, could be doing it, or maybe they do halfway, or they might not do at all. So we don't know. Honestly, personally, I'm waiting to see what's going to happen.
and how is my political view let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video if you see some value make sure to you know like and subscribe and leave a comment below make sure to share it with your friends who might get benefit from this with that thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next video